a great move, and he scores! And you believe it. That's a stone cold save. Hi, CHL fans. After one short week away, we are back at it again with another episode of CHL Center Ice. I'm your host, Victoria Vigilante, and I'm alongside our hockey expert, John Tripp. And this is our last episode before we head into 2017. How important is for players to stay focused coming into the new year? Oh, definitely. There's still a lot of hockey to be played, but I can remember in August, we had 64 teams. We're down to eight. We're moving on to four. The animosity is building up. Things are getting really good. Let's see which teams have to really lay off the Christmas dinner and keep the momentum going to 2017. It was a really tough end for Burn. They were the only unbeaten CHL team coming into this game, but it only took them one loss to send them home packing. The game starts just like the first leg between these two teams. A scoreless first period followed by a Sparta tally. Yurai Mikush gets the goal 31 minutes in. Another comparison to last week. Burn had a quick answer. Last week, it took the Swiss team just two minutes to equalize. This time, it's 30 seconds. Tristan Chervais gets the equalizer. But that's where the similarities from the first leg end. Sparta gets the 2-1 marker. And it's Miroslav Forman with his fourth goal of the CHL campaign. Then it's a deciding moment for Bern. One man down. Burns Maxim Noro gets a delay of game penalty, and his team faces a long five on three situation. Kramo top scorer Lukas Pech has no problem finding the net, and his team lead three to one after 40 minutes. Things only get worse for Burn from here. Four to one as Peter Kumstadt puts one in short handed with 11.20 to go. Sparta Prague reached the semi finals of the CHL. I had a lot of expectations with the Sparta Burn game, but today it just wasn't Burns' day. And it's unfortunate the way it went down. They haven't lost a game in the whole CHL tournament yet today. They had one loss, and that's it. But for Sparta, they came out hammering it. They had 30 shots to Burns' 15 shots, and there's no goals in the first period, and then they made them pay. Burn had a couple penalties and ended up getting two power play goals. And you know what? Sparta didn't look back after that. Another team that had some trouble scoring was Zurich and Vecchio. They went 70 minutes with a goal scored, but after that, things started to heat up. This one went down to the wire once again, but we saw some goals in the second leg. The first one were the Swiss guests. Patrick Gearing with a great shot in the slot 11 minutes in. And the guests kept on rolling. Robert Nielsen makes it two to nothing on the power play with a fantastic solo effort. He creates the open ice for himself with a nifty move to the backhand, and then he brings it back, wristing it right under the block. The second period started similarly. Joachim Eriksson denies Roland Kinnins with a little help from his defenseman. And a little help on the opening Vecchio goal as well. Villelino sets up Robert Rosane right on the doorstep with a beautiful saucer pass. With time winding down in the second, Vecchio want to get on the board one more time, and they do just that. Khaled Rosane ties it up with two and a half to go, and we head to the third all level. But then a penalty, a questionable one maybe, is assessed and given against Mike Kunzler. He sits in the box for 10 plus two, and that means a power play goal and the game winner as well. Khaled Rosane gets his second of the game as the Vecqua Lakers reach the semifinals and will play Sparta Prague. I watched the whole game between Vecu and Zurich, and Zurich dominated. They had a great start. They did go in the penalty box a little too much, but they seemed to feed off it and played really well. Vecu, they got stronger as the game went on, and they ended up finding a way to win. Also, what are your thoughts on that hit by Mike Kunzler? This was the only issue I had in the game. 2-2, two -two, third period, things are going well, there's a chance of overtime. The ref decided the game. For the ref, let the players decide the game. Mike had a nice check here, if you watch it, he comes in, arms are down, hands are on the stick, clean hit. Mr. Hochberg, who took the hit, he was just watching his pass. This is the one thing I don't like to see, but unfortunately, these things happen. And nothing you can do about it. The next matchup we have for you guys was Freiburg versus Bikovice. With an aggregated score of 8-3 for Freiburg, it was a walk in the park that led them right to the semifinals. With a three-goal cushion coming into the game, Freiburg had confidence behind their heels. And they were the first team to score in front of their enthusiastic home fans. Andrei Bikov gets the goal after a bad bounce which does not favor Vitkovice. 
Just 30 seconds later, Ostrava have the answer though. A fantastic pass to Jan Stasny, and it's all square at one. But that's not all in the first period. Just 20 seconds before the horn sounds, Yannick Rathkep gets his 12th point of his CHL season. With a four goal lead on aggregate, Freiburg have no problem in the remaining minutes of the game. Greg Muldeen gets one on the power play 25 minutes in. Vitkovice left the competition with one more goal on the table. Eric Nimitz with the final one in this game. Freiburg win 3-2 and for the second time in a row, a Swiss club reached the semifinals of the Champions Hockey League. Freiburg back at home with a three-goal aggregate lead over Vitkovice didn't stop them from getting a good start. They got on the board early, but what I like from the reaction from Vitkovice, Jan Stasny, 30 seconds later, got a tying goal. But in the end, Freiburg was just too strong. And Julian Sprunger, he didn't get three goals this time, but he did get two assists to help the way. And not only that, Switzerland, it's their second year in a row being in the semifinals. Another matchup that was smooth sailing was between Linköping and Falunda. With an aggregated score of 9-2 for Frolunda, they had their eyes on the prize and nothing was going to stop them. Frolunda, going into Lynch Hoping with a four-goal aggregate lead, didn't stop them from making their presence being felt, striking first and getting on the board. Victor Olofsson got the party started with the first goal of the night and he also was able to put back the game winner. But the character from Lynch Hoping didn't stop with a nice goal from Jacob Lilia. And what's the feeling? Being down 4 nothing and knowing at your home barn, you're going to have to score five goals. They were hoping the hockey gods were on their side. And apparently today they weren't, because for Lunda, they kept their foot on the gas, they didn't stop, they had a beauty goal with a nice bat in tip here. And if you're scoring goals like this, you're feeling good, you're unstoppable. And not only that, a stat here, in Frolunda's last four games, they have 19 goals for and four against. That's unstoppable. With stats like that, the other teams really have to watch out and get their A game on, because right now, no one's beating them. Yeah, and with a slow start off the CHL, Frolunda's on the right track to be getting another title in the CHL again. Well, John, as we're heading to the semifinals, I want to take a step back into your last week's trips picks. You know what, as a hockey player, 50% in stats, not really good showing here. No, it's not, but I'm here to redeem myself. So what would you like to know? I'm going to give you a double or nothing opportunity. I need you to be serious. I was a little disappointed with you last week. But tell me, John, who's in the finals? Who's in the finals? Okay. Well, the first game is Vecu and Prague. I'm going with Prague. The second one, Freiburg and Frulunda. And unless Freiburg has some sort of special powers, mm -hmm. I'm taking Frulunda. They're a team on a mission, and they're my team going through the whole way. My fingers are crossed for you, and I'm hoping for the best. Thank you. As always, guys, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for all CHL action. And that's all we have for today until the new year. Yes. Merry Christmas, everybody, and we'll see you soon.